Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to share with you a powerful Neville Goddard story that will get you to believe that you can manifest anything you desire, no matter what your situation is. So if you feel like the world or life's against you because of how you look or how much money you got, then yo, you definitely want to hear this story. Especially because it's based on what Neville Goddard considers to be one of the greatest revelations of all time. Let's do this. In his lecture called Sound Investments, Neville talks a lot about a guy named Jimmy Fuller because of the amazing things he was able to achieve easily, including making a fortune. As the story goes, Neville shared Jimmy's rags to riches story with his audience, even though he didn't have all the details. And after he shared it, dozens of people tried to convince Neville that Jimmy made his fortune simply because he had great capital. And Neville couldn't affirm nor deny their bold assertions. So, Neville went straight to the source and spoke with Jimmy to get the full details. You see, Jimmy said it all started several years prior when he turned on the radio and some guy who was doing a lecture was promoting and praising Neville like crazy, saying that listening to Neville is a must. So Jimmy was like, I gotta go hear this Neville guy. And he did. He heard Neville speak and he really enjoyed it. And then Neville announced that he was going to speak the following night, but that it was $2. Here's the thing. Jimmy only had $54 left. 54 bucks. That's it. And he had a wife and a little boy. And they couldn't leave the child alone since he was still too small. They'd have to get a sitter. But they went to every talk that Neville gave. Anyway, one night they couldn't pay the sitter. They just didn't have it. But they took their last $54 and spent it on going to the meetings. Kind of feel bad for the sitter. Three years later, unfortunately, Jimmy admitted that he still couldn't prove Neville's theory because of his quote-unquote problem. And what was his problem? Well, according to Jimmy, the problem was the color of his skin. He was a dark-skinned guy. And because of the color of his skin, he believed that all the marks and stripes were against him. Yet Neville tried convincing him that it was only in his mind that these stripes were placed. That his acceptance of that as a restriction made it a restriction. Did you get that? And if he would just drop it by non-acceptance, by complete indifference to the color of his skin, guess what? Neville says that he could accomplish his dream. How? By accepting it now. By accepting it now. Simple as that. Let me backtrack a bit. In last week's video, I talked about the time when Neville's wife heard a very distinct voice speaking to her as she was waking up from a deep sleep. Do you remember what the voice said to her? Now, Neville considers this to be one of the greatest revelations of all time. So pay attention. <laughs> the voice said these words. Ready? You must stop spending your thoughts, your time, and your money. Everything in life must be an investment. I'll say it again. You must stop spending your thoughts, your time, and your money. For everything in life must be an investment. In other words, every moment you have, you're either spending or you're investing. It's like this. Your thoughts, Neville says, are the coins of heaven. It's the money of heaven. You can choose to be positive and invest in what you want, or you can spend and be negative and accept what you don't want. The choice is yours. Here's the thing, though. What you do right now, folks, really matters. It really matters. Why? Because what you spend or invest in will create your future. Everything proceeds out of your own consciousness. It must be made manifest. It's the law. Is this making sense? Now, going back to Jimmy Fuller. Don't worry, I was going to leave him with a sad ending. Here's what happened. Neville said that within the last year of him sharing this message, Jimmy Fuller, listen, by complete acceptance, investing his moment, investing his now, Turn the year into a net profit of $250,000. Boom. He didn't have one penny when he started, okay? Remember, the 54 bucks was spent on going to the meetings. He didn't raise large capital, as a lot of people assumed. Nah, dude, he invested something better, something more powerful. He invested God's coin, which is time. So instead of spending his thought, which everyone has, and spending his time, which everyone has, Without any physical money, he knew that thought was money. And so he invested his thought in the now, knowing that it was an investment, that it would advance into his future, which it did. Good for him. Jimmy told Neville that everything he touched turned to gold, for real. And even his kids learned how to manifest what they want because they knew the working of the law, which was that complete acceptance of the state in consciousness must be externalized. 
Then he went on and on telling Neville all the awesome things that happened to him by the mere acceptance of this law. But most importantly, check this out, he said he completely forgotten the so-called pigment of his skin, that he's blessed beyond all men because of his color. He was proud of it, finally. Another boom for that. All right, real talk. What about you? Can you relate to Jimmy Fuller? Have you placed certain restrictions on yourself for whatever reason? If so, don't. Stop. Those are all in your mind. Those are all in your mind. You have a choice right now to spend and to waste your thoughts, time, and money accepting limitations, or you can invest those things and achieve the quote unquote impossible. What's it going to be? Ask yourself and imagine what would it be like if it were true that I'm now the person I want to be? How would I feel right now? How would I feel? And then in response to that question, will come a feeling, a feeling that corresponds to that end, right? Learn to think from that end, okay? Learn to think from it. And then here's what's going to happen. Neville says that when you devote every single moment of time to positive thinking, to constructive thinking, not accepting anything you hear that doesn't contribute to the fulfillment of your desire, reason may deny it, your senses may deny it, but since you've invested, those things will become real within your world. And you will get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified on my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, I'll spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.